My life in Dominic is, well, it's good. We moved some money offshore before I left, enough to get a house on the ocean. Weather's always perfect, people are nice. I'm so happy you're living it up in the Caribbean while we're squatting with no heat in New York. Hear your father out, Nate. I want to make things better. I know how hard your life has been because of what I did. I can't turn back the clock. But I can ask you to come live with me. All the money in the world isn't worth it without the two of you to share it with. Mom, did you know about this? Yes, and I'd like to go. But only if you want to come too. Please, Nate, we can be a family again. All you have to do is say yes. Vanessa Abrams. Can I help you? I'd like to talk to you about Nate Archibald. I knew you'd come back for more. Chuck, you know how hard this call was for me to make. I'm listening. The FBI just came to see me and Nate's in trouble. Tell someone who cares. Chuck, if this is serious, he needs our help. You know, when you called, I thought it was an emergency. Obviously, I was wrong. It's more like an intervention. There's someone you need to talk to. The FBI knows that your dad's in town, and they think he's about to commit a crime even worse than fraud or embezzlement. Like what? Like extortion and kidnapping. When your father escaped to Dominica, he could only get his hands on enough money to get himself set up. He should have found a job, reinvented himself. But instead, he lived the way he'd always lived. Now he's got nothing left. Yeah, well, if my father's poor, what's the point of us going to live with him? I mean, we don't have any money. But the Vanderbilts do. Yeah, look, why would my grandparents pay us to go live with him when they can't even help us out here? I mean, they hate my dad. Maybe that's why they would give him money, to leave without you or your mom. We've been monitoring your father's calls. He's trying to get in touch with your grandparents. Well, I mean, if this is true, why didn't you just come tell me this yourself? We didn't know if you or your mother knew what was going on. After all, she helped him escape in the first place. But I told him I didn't think that you would just leave New York. Especially without saying goodbye to your friends. I'll let the three of you talk it over. Where have you been? Your mother's almost done packing. We have to go. Do you really think your plan's gonna work? Well, Will, if we hurry up, come on. Let's no, go. I don't mean that. Are you really planning on holding me and Mom for ransom? Not all the money's for me, Nate. It's for you guys, too. Look, this way you and your mom will get everything you deserve, and I will have enough to start over wherever I go next. Look, I want to take care of you, but I, I don't know what else to do. No, this no, there's is a different way to get our lives back, Dad. One that doesn't require another felony. <sighs> the FBI are on the way here. Nate, please. Dad, oh, listen, I love you. But if you can't do the right thing, then I can't respect you. So the choice is yours. You go out that service entrance and you ruin our relationship forever. Or you be a man and you turn yourself in when they get here. But that's not a choice. It is a choice. Because I'm sick of living in the mess you've created for us. And I'm not gonna do it anymore.